Hello everyone and welcome back. So if you've ever wanted to make an animatic, which is basically a moving storyboard that helps visualize your animated film or commercial or what have you, but you felt held back because you think your stick figures are embarrassing, then you're at the right place. Because today we're diving into a powerful yet beginner friendly method to show you how to create a compelling and um, professional looking animatic with minimal drawing skills, mind you. So hold on to your tablets and let's dive straight into Blender. This tutorial is a part of a series of videos that tracks the progress of my animated short film, Rust in Bloom. And this is me sharing my progress as I go through each stage of production. So I first start with a very basic 3D model of the environment, which helps me set up camera angles without having to redraw environments on every shot. Next up, I reimpose a basic version of the characters that I want to draw. Now I know, I know this sounds counterintuitive, but this is aimed for those of us who can't draw much and still want to have nice looking drawings for our storyboards and animatics you know the purpose of the models is to help us with things like silhouette and proportions later down the line then i start to pose and move the wicks throughout the shots i don't really care about making the animation smooth or anything like that it's pretty janky as you can see right now the only thing i care about is putting down the key poses and you know creating a pass for the movement across the scene. I then move on to adding a grease pencil layer and uh, start to draw over the models you know frame by frame. Another question that might come up is why can't you just finish this in 3D? I mean most of the things are already set up in 3D and that is a valid question but I'm aiming to add things like facial ex expressions and uh, make the characters, you know, more visually appealing and more complete, giving them a complete look without having to delve deeper into things like character design or making a detailed 3D model. You know, I just want to deal with it in a simple way. So that's also a stage that I'm saving for later. So, so this is my way of making things easier for me to draw. Anyone can, you know, adapt this steps, like this workflow that I'm taking, and then anyone can use it in their own way. I mean, anyone can rig their own 3D models and draw over the facial expressions only on the surface of the meshes, like, um, or any other way they can. This is just a workflow that I find very comfortable to work with and which gives me a result that I'm actually happy with and which conveys the story I'm trying to tell in, a, in the best way. So regarding the grease pencil, I'm actually parenting the grease pencil object, the grease pencil object with the root bone of the rigs. This helps me, you know, with movement, you know, if the character is moving in 3D space, the grease pencil is also a child of that uh, rig, so it's also following it in 3D space and all I need to do is draw over it frame by frame instead of figuring out what is its current 3D location and rotation in 3D space. So that's one thing I do. I, do. I want to keep this tutorial quite brief, so I'm not going to delve uh, too deep into setting up a grease pencil, how to add a grease pencil and how to draw on layers. I can actually link some useful beginner tutorials that can familiarize you with the use of grease pencil in 3D. The one I can think of is CG Cookie that comes to my mind first. There are also others that are very useful, but here you can see how I'm implementing those basic um, uses of grease pencil. 
If this tutorial helped you unlock a new storyboarding process, then please hit that like button. It really helps the channel grow. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next production vlog video.